number 17, and this is the co-main event of the evening. In the 170 pound division, consisting of three five minute rounds, referee for this professional contest, Mr. Paul Crossley. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one more time, finally, out of the blue corner, representing Marseille Fight Club in France. A professional record of one win and no losses. Wilson, the gladiator Varela. And his opponent in the red corner, representing Lions Gym. A professional record of two wins and only one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one more time. James, the Lionheart Dixon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, cage door set to close on this pro welterweight contest and our Kona main event here at Golden Ticket Pipe Promotions number 17. Wilson Farland fighting over in the blue corner. The Fight Factory France prospect taking on James Dixon. Two and one James Dixon, three and two for Wilson Farland, but Wilson Farland Coming out of that fight factory in France, one thing we know that he's going to be able to do is strike. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. He's, uh, took a five-year hiatus on mixed martial arts to complete competing K1 bout. So James Dixon though lands two chopping low kicks and forces Varela to the canvas. And this is this is where you thought you would think James Dixon wants this fight. Yeah, they've just got a quick break in the action here as right, a glove issue. Equipment malfunction. Quickly makes that adjustment. And the round continues. And again, we've seen these Fight Factory France fighters come over, and if you sleep on their stand-up, you end up asleep. Absolutely, and it'll be interesting to see what Wilson Varela is like on, off his back, he's done a good job so far in getting to the fence. I mean, his last fight uh, came back to mixed martial arts in July and he won that by submission, so he's no slouch on the map, but James Dixon doing what any wise person would do against someone with so many K1 Absolutely, bouts. <laughs> and when you look again at the stature of both of these fighters, Dixon, shorter, stockier, perhaps the more powerful short build, but Wilson Varela has that length. Yeah, James Dixon is, is brutal and vicious when we get onto the mat as well. He lands heavy elbows. We saw that in his last fight against Dylan Manning, where he chewed up the leg first and foremost. And yeah. Which is exactly what he started doing here. Yeah, he's got a blueprint, hasn't he? And he, he, he likes to stick by it, but I think he'll be very happy at the moment. Being in top control here. Yeah, controlling well. Just chipping away. Got to be careful that back elbow. But this is... This is a smart fight from James Dixon so far. We've seen he's happy to engage in firefights in the past. This is a little more mature, looking to chip away. Controlling the hand and then again uses that left hand. He did a really good job here of controlling the, uh, the legs. And Wilson so, Barella just able to keep it on the mat. It's so quiet in here at this moment that Wilson Barella's ears, her cornering is echoing through the venue for all to hear. She wants him to lock down on that leg a little bit more. But he's staying heavy, this is smart. Yeah, he's, oh, and and this is right hand there. Shot, yeah. Very heavy right hand there. You but Barella's ha holding on to this left arm, as you can see, worried about that sliding under the neck yep. and jumping over and looking for a choke. But at the same time, he's not able to get back to his feet no, whilst he's doing that. It's just holding, holding Dixon in place for him. Thank you very much. Yeah, and, and James Dixon is landing those right hands over and over again whilst he's got the uh, the two up, whilst Red has got the two on one. And we've seen Dixon. Nice job there, though. Oh, knee up the middle, but Dixon trying to get him on that body lock again. Forces Red up against the cage. Right in front of us here. Staying heavy. Nice Maybe. head pressure just under the chin now by James Dixon. Making it very difficult for Brenner to get his back from this fence. And it, making him take all of that pressure and all of that weight. Oh, 
looking to lock those fingers together. Got to give a shout out here actually to uh, Dawson Vrela though. This James Dixon had a raft of opponent changes for this yeah. fight and Vrela took this fight on I think about three or four days notice so. It certainly looks like he's in fight shape. Absolutely yeah. So big shout out for travelling over to the UK as well and going up against the very dangerous man in, uh, in James Dixon on a few days notice. You can hear the corner now just letting James know about the time management. 40 seconds left again. Nice. Throw that little chopping knee there. But I think uh, I think Vrela there was calling for shots to the back of the head. Dixon just peppering over and over again with that right hand. It's a clubby right yeah, hand as well. It, even these short shots are going to be causing some discomfort. And a really mature performance from James Dixon here in the first. Yeah, he's controlled the vast majority of the round. Absolutely, he's not put himself in any unnecessary risk or danger. He's controlled position. He's oh, controlled big knee lands there, though. Got to be careful. Just level changing for that takedown because the knee came up and I think just caught the temple of, uh, of James Dixon. Dixon, though, still just peppering away, keeping his man pinned up against that cage. And a very mature first round from James Dixon. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Realised it probably wasn't a great idea to uh, to stand and trade with someone with the striking background of Varela. So decided to take the fight to the mat and just drain the batteries of Varela in those clinch positions. As you would expect him to do against a quality stand-up fighter. Not that Dixon isn't, he's got power. But why take the why take the risk fighting at range against the lankier kickboxers? Absolutely, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this develops over round two and three because this is the first time that James Dixon has made it out of the first round as a Absolutely. professional. Two first round finishes, golden ticket fight promotions, 15 and 12, and then suffered a loss in his uh, pro debut in the first round. But he's looking fresh. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's wearing. That five minutes too heavily, but so does Wilson Varela there. Yeah, he looks in fantastic shape for someone who's coming on a few days' notice. I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell from looking at it. No, Dixon trying to cut the cage down again, goes back to those low gates. He had some success in the first round, chopping away. Be careful as he tries to get inside the. Yeah, he's having some real success that low kick, and he's, yeah. it's a real clubbing low kick. Well, there he lands I mean, again. Look at the size of his thighs. There'll be some power in them there, leg kicks, and dumps his man down into side control. And got time to work from here. Stays heavy and smothering. Yeah, Brenna spins out nicely there, but good job from James Dixon just riding the back and. Well, this is where James was happy to spend a lot of time in the first. Happy right in the back, controlling the position. Good work by Varela to get himself up to the cage. Trying to post up, stand up. They're keeping that. Knee and the, the right arm on the canvas, so there's no knees allowed in this position from James Dixon, but he's just throwing a few left hands. Now Varela will look to spin into because he needs to do for that underhook on the left hand side here. Yeah, James happy to stay in nice and tight. Oh, it's just <laughs> the cage stays. keeps him up. Now, good position for Dixon had his opponent. Good work by the opponent to get his head off the cage. No, I'm repeating things here, but this is really professional uh, performance so far from James Dixon. It's very easy when you've won your last two fights in the, in the very first round, both by a knockout. It's very easy to and kind of want to put on that kind of show for the fans again. And he's a very emotive fighter as well. He, he's, you know, he gets in there and sometimes, sometimes it runs away with him a bit. That's what I'm most impressed with with Dixon today is the maturity. He's not going to rush. He realizes he's, he's in with a dangerous opponent. But right now, Dixon doing everything right. He's, again, not in any real danger here. 
chipping away at his opponent and racking up control time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Brennan's doing a good job on the ground of not taking much damage. He's keeping that guard nice and nice. <laughs> Sticks his tongue out there as the uh, fans think that Dixon landed a nice elbow. I think he was doing it more for the corner, if I'm honest. <laughs> Ah, there's Andre Winner. I'll just stick my tongue out at him. <laughs> oh, oh, big slashing elbow yeah. there, though. Those will cut you open if you take too many of those. Oh, you know James is going to have some... When he finds that position and gets the space, he will start to unload with vicious intent. But again, I'm, I'm pleased that he's remaining patient. He take picking his shots and control. Nice short little elbow in there as well. Yeah, Varela to the Oh, these ones are starting to get through now. Varela having to move to stop eating these. Yeah, he's in a very defensive position as well with that closed guard with the, the feet crossed behind the, the backside of James Dixon. He's to, I know it's a horrible position and when somebody's elbowing in, <laughs> elbowing your head in the, the process, but he needs to create some separation here. He needs to open that guard, push on the hips, get his back up against the fence and, and try and work out his position. So at the moment, he's just trying to block the elbows coming through yeah. and... There's only so many of those that you can block before they start to creep through and, and land on the target. Yeah, this is a, this is more about survival. Oh, there's a big left Back to the body, yeah. It's it's more about survival at the moment for Varel as opposed to looking to stand or... And again, James got to be more than happy with that. Yeah, it looks like Varel has lost part of his, uh, yes, his attire here as well. Might have some wardrobe malfunction, but... Like part of those tie shorts and grip. But again, Dixon. Oh, they're nasty elbows. Controlling on top, not rushing anything. There's a really good job, James Dixon, of just creating enough space to land those elbows. And staying busy enough that our referee hasn't even given him a warning about position yet. But he's not rushing anything. Yeah, I think he's opened up a cut as well on the, yeah. the forehead of, uh, of Varela there with one of those elbows. Yeah. So just over the right eye. Yeah, just above the right eye, I think. Well, it doesn't look too bad, doesn't look like it's bleeding too much, but... Uh, a few seconds left to go in this second stanza. Potential three five-minute rounds. And now we'll see... Now we'll see the cardio of James Dixon. We'll see whether he can do the same for the third, but you would suggest it's all on Wilson Varela now to turn this fight around. Yeah, you definitely have to think that he's uh, he's two rounds down in the uh, in the judges' eyes. And to be honest, the corner of uh, James Dixon, I'm sure, will just be saying more of the same yeah. thing. Get this fight back to the ground, and and he really struggles to get back up with your top pressure. So yeah, it might not make for the most explosive of contests. But it's just a testament to James Dixon's growing fight IQ. If I can win a fight without getting hit, that's eh, probably best. Definitely. We, we've talked several times in the past as well about the uh, the path of least resistance. Yep. And that's what James Dixon has found. He's found that if he takes his fight to the mat, he can have his way with his opponent without, like you say, without getting hurt and without really being too much dangerous. No real submission threat so far from uh, from Wilson Varela and. That second round especially, he struggled to, to get back to his feet and just saw out the round on the, uh, the bottom position. But everything is set up oh, for James Dixon with those low kicks to start. And, and they're heavy, hard low kicks. Again, look at the frame of Dixon. If another one lands. And he does a really good job of backing his opponents up using those low kicks. Yeah, and looking to try and get it. And Varela now immediately goes to that wide base does not want to spend another three and a half minutes on bottom they're doing a nice job so far keeping it upright just controlling the right arm of james dixon yeah but the longer it stays here the more time is ticking away from it is he looking to try and get but he might be looking to wrap up uh, the neck there I'm possibly fine. but it's going to be very difficult a in that position and b when they're so sweaty you can see the glisten on uh, James yeah. Dixon's back at the moment. And there's going to be no doubt about the physical strength of, of James Dixon in this position. He's going to be very hard to move. Ooh, Ooh that looked like an, that 
came close to being in a little bit. Yeah, very I close. Think. Be careful of that. Yeah, he's, he's oh, looking no, to wrap yeah. up that net, but James Dixon senses the danger and uh, gets that neck out of there quickly and buries it into the midsection of Wilson Varela. Yeah, James Dixon today embracing the grind. He's looking to clasp those hands, as you can see, and bring that wide base together of Wilson Varela. But they're doing a good job so far, but as you say, there's no offense no from offense. this position. It's all defense. It's all my back's <laughs> off the kick. <laughs> he looks at the ref and kind of says, no action, and the ref turns right Paul, in. And Paul Crossley has says, yeah, you know what, maybe we need a little more action. Oh, yeah. That no, left hand got through, and that got through as well. And this is where Dixon has got to now. Backing on the clinch, and he's yeah, been he, bloodied up. Yeah, he busted up his nose with that straight straight shot there, Varela. Oh, really badly. Bleeding, bleeding back. Dixon, no, still pushing in. It's absolutely pouring oh, it's blood. gushing blood. It's all over the cage floor. Broken nose, perhaps. Yeah, that was very nasty. And I'm not surprised in the slightest that James Dixon tried to get this fight back. For no, and, he oh, and a big knee. Big knee, but Dixon refuses to let go of that single leg and drags his man down to the ground. It's now, it's gut check time for Dixon. That was Two a beautiful rounds. jumping knee. Yeah. Was. Was defending the tag Two down. rounds up, but now is eating that horrible knee. He's got, he's got the tap. And he puts the tap out of nowhere. Well, clutching victory from the jaws of defeat. And that, he snuck down. I didn't even see that he was no. sneaking that. It was almost a front choke, I think. I, but, oh. but I think that the fact that <laughs> that nose has been completely busted up kind of helped. But what a come from behind victory Absolutely there. Absolutely come from behind victory. James Dixon was looking to control, looking to control, but round three, Wilson Varela realized he had it all to do. What a phenomenal three rounds. Wow. Both these fighters give it everything over these three rounds. Just want to give a quick shout out to some of the sponsors this evening. Want to give a quick shout out to Green Hill, Prep and Go, Corrupt Sheriff, Combat Sports Clinic, Elephant Mobile, Went with James Construction Recruitment, Casino 36, and then Tires. What an entertaining scrap between these two welterweights. I'm still in the state of shock at the, uh, oh, the combat we've just seen, and especially the, given the fact they kind of came out of nowhere. The, the, the side that we're on in the cage here, you couldn't really see that, that choke getting nope. up at all. Great work from the Fight Factory France prospect. Boots to four and two. And then a fight that was not going his way. Yeah, so fantastic heart. I mean, coming, coming flying over to the UK on less than a week's notice. Take on a real hot prospect like James Dixon. Losing the first two rounds dominantly. And they're turning it around turning like that. It's absolutely phenomenal. And all props to Wilson Varela there. Absolutely. And it takes two to make a fight. And, and he was here for the fight, not to roll over for James Dixon. We'll turn this one over to our MC, Mr. Ben Harvest. He will make the result official.
ladies and gents, we're going to step into a very quick 10-minute interview. Thank you.